flashbang to allow a little bit more of a peek from Tizian, but they got him penned in, and Rops, meanwhile, is just killing everybody. Okay. Rops out the squeaky door. Just stealing kills. Going back for one more. Zontares will finally silence him. But they've lost the lower sight. This bomb's going down. At least that kill on Rops allows them to begin the rotation to try and fight this back, to try and find some space here. But they've lost the lower sight. That bomb is ticking away. They do have a kit for Tizian. They do have one flashbang as well to try and get them out the door, so they're all just going to burst from the same angle. There's the flash. It's not really catch. Oh, it does get a bit of Dexter. There's the trade. Acor coming back in, and it's all falling apart. It's all on to Searson now. They're above him. They're beyond him. Going to try and chase him while he will find one. They're whittling enough time off the clock that there's no way he's getting out of this one. I'm starting to get a bit concerned. Here's the execute. No one's looking for this player's second event, though, so Keto's going to get one. Even trades on towards the save, but that's fine because they still got an advantage in the numbers. And Tabson comes through, denies this in the second as well. Good shots with the P250. Good marksmanship. Acar didn't spend too much, so I think he's saving towards oh, the off Keto, to drop that Keto's in. Beast. Keto's about to make some money here. There's the first. Oh, they line oh, up. The team kill. The team kill. It robbed him. It robbed him of $900. <laughs> that's kind of better for them. Kind of. <laughs> it is, yeah. No, they'll take it. You know, take your teammate out so that they can't. Just uh, by the book there as he drops back down, lets his teammate take control of hell so that they can at least know if the push comes in any further. And this time the shotgun's allowed to have a little bit more success. It will be traded after two, but now it's only the shotgun that they've given over, so it shouldn't be a huge deal. Well, Sirison just continues fighting even with the USB and... Here we go, the final kill comes in from Xanthers. 3-1, big, don't have, but as you said, 2-0, not great. 16-8, better, but not good. Two-round oh. improvement per map. Nice shot by Acor. It's a good shot. Let's see if he can get more. Is he in some control here? Oh. Deleted by Robs. Never mind, this yeah, round's over. Save. They've got money, but there'd be no reason to go for a 2-on-5 retake. See if they maybe even consider a double up setup in this round. Definitely a possibility. Frozen's gonna give it to him. Is he? Now into the vent. No problem there. They've taken decon. Seems like they're gonna try and burst out. There isn't an op on scene, but as I say that, more reinforcements. Oh, lots of bodies here. The Molly in towards the rat hole, and Tabson burns alive before he can get that kill. So I wasn't even looking his direction. But a nice couple for Tizian. Might just secure this. Bomb is planted, but Mouse Sports, can they get away with it? Keto about to collect a core, and now it's looking very dangerous indeed, all on the Bemis. And this is nigh but impossible. They're going to hop on this defuse in a moment. He's going to be smoked off as well. Could even consider keeping the AK alive, but he'll try and play with that clock, try and play with that timer. I know they've got to bring some spam back his way, and the Molly will actually find it, spreads to him, and does just enough. There's a follow up as well. A core chiming in. Suddenly, things looking very good for most sports in this particular round. Some lobby control has been taken by Tizian. Drops. Whoa, it's going to be flanked. There we go. Tizian's kill comes through. Now Tizian is anticipating the players coming back in. Are they ready for him? Next is not. And neither is Beamus. Okay, back to a 2v2. Excellent play from Tizian. Three huge kills. Keeps his team in this round. Acorn Frozen. Where do they want to take the bomb now? Every advantage they had found is, is toppled. And look at this, Keto's just coming back from the ramp. They're not going to expect this. He's coming around trophy. Acor's looking for it. Acor's dead, done, and dusted. Got to be up to the clutch. Santara is just down on 25 points of health, but it's more going to be about who's looking which way when. But he needs to net this kill. There's the audio cue. Now Frozen knows he's looking for it, and he's got it. Saracen decided to stick around despite his teammate, I believe, backing off already from the hook. A little awkward. Yeah, I wanted one more. All he catches is a bullet. To be the swing, the 2k for Keto. All right, back in control. This Molly should finish him off, and Acor is actually going to get the kill, so this is still a viable round for Mouse Sports. The chase from Tabson works out. V2 here. Tricky, but frozen in the clutch. We've already seen it happen once. Can he bring the magic back again? He's got time, 50 seconds. He's going to back right out of there. Nobody, nobody, nobody. All right. Here's the move. And just as he starts to put that bomb down to Zeris, that's when the player moves out. He's not even going to get the plant off. Dancing with shadows. He doesn't know it. Now they come out. Zontaras only gets two. Now his teammates are here to secure it. No, a little bit more expensive. Okay, couple kills out. Not the worst thing in the world. The juggling the M4. It was on Tizzy and it was on Keto. It was back to task. The juggling it. Zontaras gets one. There's the nade. There's the Keto. 
Oh, Deagle strikes true. It's down to a 2v2, but this is viable if it's two of the big guns that remain. Searson and Tabson trying to take this round back into control, but Tabson's down for the count, and Searson, well, now might be the time to just save that big green gun. Still plenty of time, and if he can get this kill, never mind. Won't be a question. So that's calmed as well. Yeah, okay. The, all their crosshairs look like they're locked into that fight. So that could be huge, but Tizian's still going to get one. Bima's down for the count. There's the spot. Now they definitely know where he is. Tabson, though, brings back two. All right, Tabson. Making a meal of this on the flank. Coming up on top of the Schmallow. Okay, they're grouping up. They seem to have lost track of Tabson. Everything's going to be different timing. Dexter's not clearing the second vent, and down he goes. Even with Acorn getting that kill, what is this next shot? Jumping above the vent works for Zontaras. Although he wastes a couple of seconds, he will pretty quickly be dropped by Dexter. But it doesn't really seem to matter. They're not having much success. Rops tried to creep out A. I'm not sure what the plan was there when, when they're already sitting with the disadvantage. I guess keep those players busy, try and get a kill or two. But mm. yeah, now you've just left Dexter and Acorn to try and salvage a two on four. I mean, that's just rots things. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Bomb is now dropped. That should trigger maybe a little bit of a rotation to come help Searson out here. A core, it's all just about denying him the opportunity to win this round with 15 seconds to go. He's kind of got to make it happen. Gets a kill. Can I get a plant? That would be quite nice. Yes, he does. Gets a bomb plant out of this. Certainly nothing more. He's trying to chase these kills, dancing around the smoke. Hits the no scope. Makes it expensive. Two entries, he allows for Acor then to pop in and trade on Tabson, and this should be most sports round, unless Xanter is in Keo and go absolutely huge, and well, Keo somehow reacts in time to get that kill on Frozen, but he wasn't quite aware that Dexter had already crept across in behind the garage smoke, so he will be traded back, leaving it all onto the... He's really got the idea, and he's gonna get the kill as well. No damage taken back in turn. Now they know where he's at, now they know they can confirm and secure that bomb. He's actually in Divis way down vent. Was that close enough to be heard? I don't believe so. Acor's kind of looking for it though. So he has the right idea. Acor reads it. Acor gets the shot. Whether it was the audio cue or not, the end result is going to be an 8 7 half as Mouseports move to the defensive side when we come back. It's Dexter. This isn't Valorant. Line. What was that? USP. Uh, this isn't oh, my classic. Because I said a classic. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You got me. Oh. Dexter. Oh, it looked like he had the drop on that first player, but now the wrap Ooh. works out perfectly. Tabson, he moves in from behind, leaves it all now on one man to hold onto this A bomb site. And while Bimaz, he's given a bit of space, to be honest, there to get the initial kill, but he's not able to come through it anymore as he's traded back on once again. The bomb plant confirmed the four on two after plant now for big. And plenty of time to position themselves also. As well, only Acor was really in position to do anything, and he couldn't actually spot that bomb. So he's waiting now for Rops to actually move in through lobby. They don't have a kick currently. Was there one in play that they can recover? Mm, don't recall. I don't actually think so. If there was, Rops might be able to find it on his journey back around, but they're running out of time to do so, and I don't think this is viable anymore. Acor even considering trying to get away. Rops is just going to save his armor. This round's over. It's big. Winning the pistol. It's big moving up. Literally up as they go up the ladders to try and get on the roof and drop on rocks. Oh, that's well done. But at this point, oh, they might be thinking about the bailout. Antares will secure the vents at the very least, but Frozen collects one more. Tizian's working his way up top. There's still a player up here. Bimas is going to be tested, but now he knows they're on their way. And reinforcements are rallying. They're coming, but it doesn't matter. Zontaras is chewing through the competition, tearing them apart. Now, what's going to be the emotion? The one's still down in the vent. That's Frozen coming up. Well, Tizian taking the fight into the lobby. Well done for Tizian. Now Frozen, what's he possibly going to do? Has to find the timing for Zontaris to be looking away. And he is! It gets awkward there, but it works. Frozen needs to move now. Already three kills to his name, but he doesn't have this kit, so he's just going to have to try and stick it. Playing the time is Tizian right around the corner. Coming out around. There's the kill. Does he have time? I yeah, believe plenty. so loads loads of time to get that defuse in that, that was weird it looked like tizian was oh. a long sneeze it's a chainsaw okay that makes it sounds like sense. a long sneeze did you it say it's just a really long <laughs> it's a chainsaw but it's like it's, like, it's ah! enough of a muted chainsaw <laughs> it's just very odd okay it's window, a, bless you it's like a vuvuzela tizian and keto trying to make something out of nothing here 25 seconds to do so this is not looking very viable that kill from Frozen should confirm it, that nothing's really happening here. Keto will try his very best, because there's no real point in surviving, and survive he will not. We never see me again, lads, that's why. 
gets killed by Beamaz, though. Spots the oh, legs. Oh, dirty right Dean. Behind the, the kneecaps as well on Tabson. That's the worst place to be shot, man. Do you have experience with it? As in no, your no, life no, no, as no. old Dirty Dean? I'd say, I mean, anything there, Matt Hortz. Let's be real. <laughs> Just gonna have to toss in some utility and back right the heck out. They've gained lower. They've gained the lower sight. Now pressure on for Frozen. Who looking for one? Looking for more. He's got two. That's gonna be it. But he's at least made an even numbers for the retake here. That's a lot more viable for his team. Dex is just on the other side of the decon door. So if they try and plant near him, well, oh, they could be in for a world of hurt. There's the bomb going down. He's gonna open it, swing it. Nobody's here. Look at his teammate. Tabson's coming in on the flank. Good kill. Got dinked in turn, but I think it was just an M4. So he manages to limp away. The UMP's trying to chase, but this is all falling apart. It's all on to Dexter. That's a nice bit of damage. So they are coming in towards lower. It will be a full five-man retake, presumably, provided they can get this bomb down. Nice kill on the tabs and might make that a little more difficult. Whittling down the numbers before they actually do punch in the numbers. They're trying to make this in. Harassment damage, control in towards Decon. Player right on the bomb itself, taken out of play, and it's all on the Zontops. Look at this, he's found their backs. He's found their backs, they're turned around. He's only going to be able to take the first, though. Dexter does get the final kill. He may not have found them on the initial, but it is a team. Oh, eventually we see something come oh. from all of the gunshots, and a Deagle finding some success as well for Tabson. He really struggled in their last game uh, that we seen from them earlier on, so it's good to see him finding some success early on. Uh, or rather, even with the weaker weapons. That was a crispy shot by Acorn. Fell back to the USB despite having the op, and... Well, there we go. Cleaned up, but only to one casualty, as I said. Which they could afford to... He oh, makes it work, and now they've got Frozen pinched in. Players on both sides. What could he do here? Needs to come through with a miraculous play, pretty much, to come out with even one or two kills. And that will not be allowed. This round should be over. They're gonna come in towards A. That is the one site. There's still reinforcements, and Beamus getting two kills. Might just make this viable. He's dodging the flashbangs, he's dodging the molotov, he's being peppered from every direction, he almost gets that kill. What an effort for Bimas. Dodging all of the damage. It's gonna allow Acor up. Oh, oh, he's got a gun barrel. No, he's got Searson. There's the first. That's how you start a clutch. 1v3. Pretty good read on both players' position. Molly will prevent Zonteros from taking. He doesn't have a health to even stand in this, and he's dead. He's dead to the flames. Does he realize how close Tabson has gotten? Expects the wrap in towards lobby, but Tabson's just chilling here outside the hut. I don't think he'll read this position, but now that he's eliminated all of these potential spots, he just might have. Tabson's gone walkabout though, and time is his friend now. Hit there for Acorn. It is, but not the read. Tabson's got it. Give the indication with the wrapping mini. Here comes the util. He's still tucked. Now they start to make their move. Multiple players down. He's only going to get one. One and a half information given over to his team, but Tabson immediately follows it up. They're off the MP9. Gets two and stays alive. Okay. Dexter's made a round of this with that flashbang. Good. Catches the player, but he doesn't have enough bullets to finish off the kill. And he's all alone now, but all alone, it might be enough. 19 seconds, 18 seconds. He just has to survive. Searson has to bring in the hunt, has to bring in the fight against him. And timing is everything. Harassment damage enough. There is a molly here for Searson. But if he just plays ring around the Rosie, that might be it. No! They're not watching for it. No one's watching for it. This is rather tricky. No one's watching for the flank. Now they're going to outside a ramp. That's getting distracted as well. Here comes the crunch on in. The bodies are starting to drop. Seriously gets one, but there's the trade. Oh no, it's all falling apart. must takes one, and there's Dexter to finish it off. All Glocks, 1P250, should be 15 for most sports. They've taken the eco, and I, I can get behind that. Only needing two gun rounds in a row. That's very achievable. Continue in the force and just not giving, giving yourself a real opportunity mm -hmm. would not be the way to go. And the thing is, as well, with the money they've saved over, Searson will have the op. Like, they'll have everything they can do to try and take this out. Oh, oh. Yeah, Santeras. He's going to try with the Glock. Valiant effort. Appreciate it. Not going to happen here. Rocks takes three. The round is clean. And they're feeling very good. And look at those score lines. It's not over yet, though. I mean, a four on five, he's still got very notable names. It was Tizian that they lost early on. But now they've also lost Hobson. So the, uh, the dynamic duo there, it is gone. Starting to run out of uh, bodies here. And look at the flank. Frozen's coming all the way around. So if they get slowed down too much by these mollies, by these flashes, Frozen's going to be the nail in the coffin. They've also got someone in position to go aggressive outside ramp. They're trying to hit right now, but they're being rebuffed. Oh, look at this. They're coming back towards ramp. Rop's got one. 
Ops is looking for more and Frozen's here. He's coming on the flank. There's the leg. There's the tag. They're chasing. He's got the kill. He's gone to the Deagle. Even gets a tag there. Eight cores here to seal the deal. And that is 16 to 13. Metasport's taking their map pick. Taking through Nuke. Making it happen. Big were so close to snatching that one away. But denied at the final. Speaking of Borden, as I said, that Molly though had gone down on short. Which was able to at least isolate the one-on-one -on -one against the player in towards Gandalf. But eventually that return is found. And well, I was going to say a good bit of damage and potentially the kill done by the player lurking around from long. But no, thinks down Bmas, he's able to just stay alive for now. And he's left his teammate instead to try and deal, of course, with Tabson, who is wasting a lot of time. He's, he's preoccupying these players, slowing down the retake massively. And although they do have a kit on the CT side, it's still not really something you can afford to have happen. So they do need to pick up the speed a small bit. Here we go, moving in. Tapson didn't decide to stick around. He went back to join up with his teammates to try and just hold off this bomb and run down the time. And well, it's working because there is not much left at all. As long as they don't start throwing away kills at this point, there was pretty much no hope for most sports to make that retake happen. So we'll see how this actually works out now for them. Kind of drops up close on mid as well. He'll have actually heard them already moving up short. And they heard a push out too long, but it's like trying to take the off the back of a flash. Problem was, Tizian was still playing passively. Keo had just crossed over to blue, so he was covered off from the flash as well, and they clean it up with zero casualties. That's a good recovery from the last round for Big. Certainly. Robs. Don't have his hands closed. Let's take it first. Not the second. That's a bit more than he could chew, but here comes Frozen. Back on the angle. Only one and done. And again, this is not a very favorable retake scenario. Trying to collect one as they move across, that would have been nice. Not gonna happen. We'll drop the bomb with the damage done. They might be coaxed in. It looks like Dexter wants to move for it. He's gonna get the kill. There we go. Both remaining players are funneled in towards the tunnels, and Dexter finds that rather quickly. He's got the kills. It's all on to Searson now. A 1v2, and his health's not looking grand. But he does have the op. He is out in the open. He's been spotted. He's been dropped. Acor's got it. That's gonna be the round. Mouseport finally on the board. Op retrieved as well. Some upgrades available for them. Flashes again, but they're not moving just yet. They're trying to go for the drop over. Acorn decides to pull the trigger. Sees the utility, I think, coming out of the smoke. Recognizes the position, so he gets one. He's back over towards Goose. He's committed. He's going to take a second, but that's all she wrote. Still, might set up his teammates here for the retake or to even prevent the bomb from going down. Keto being whittled down. A drop down for Searson, but he can't chamber another round. And as close as close can be. True. The other thing could be stylistically Well, the beam as right now he's stylistically gonna dominate three of those kills. Dexter wants a little piece of the pie. But it's gonna be Bemis to step away with a 4k. Stacking the numbers up early here on Dust 2. Yeah, the trick is how do you fight for this? Right, the op can come back around from uh from catwalk. That's just kind of a rough spot. Really gonna do this with the MP9. Yes, he is! Oh, never mind. Yes, he is. Two kills for Dexter. Didn't trust him with the MP9, but made a fool of me. And now they're they're hemmed up. They don't have the utility for this. They're trying to get the fight. They're trying to get the long range fight while they're taking out Dexter. Now the op's in position. Wow, oh, if that op comes around the angle, the run boost isn't gonna do you much good. The flashes. There's the clear. Acor trying to shoot Skeet here. But instead it's Tabson to connect. Suddenly, what was looking very rough is oh so good, oh so sweet. Obviously, Big won't be able to stick around to hang on to it. So, yeah, carry that over. They can drop Acor, then they should be fine. Is the op here, I guess, would be the main question? That's an M4. He's got no support whatsoever. I see that. Actually, Dexter might be able to get this gun. Which is kind of crazy to think about. I hear it's going to come through, and Frozen, well, he'll only find one. The USP for Dexter, not the gun for that retake, and now it's just down to one lonely Bemis, man. Might be able to catch Searson, and that would net him an op to save. But Searson's being rather tricky, rather cautious about it. Yeah, coming around, there we go. Shots to the dome. There is another player back in towards spawn, though, and Tabson just gonna raise this. Shots to the back of the head. There we go. They have no control elsewhere, so it's how cautious they have to be, even if flanks coming in. So quick. It's just so dang quick. A hint of a leg, a flash of a leg, and Searson's all over it. Must. Try and set that up for a massive beam of play, but nope, not not gonna happen this time. Small percentage chance that Mouseworth will be able to do much of anything here. There is a flank from Frozen, and there's a dead Frozen, and there's a dead round for Mouseworth. Big. Hmm. 
Here's the hit coming in. Two players in. They better get these skills quick, and they're gonna get none. Okay, round's over. Pack it up. Go home, boys. Seriously, even got one extra kill in towards mid just to make it even worse. It's not like they would have retake with three. But as it is, these two players have to save. 100%. Zero thought can even enter their mind about fighting for this. Meanwhile, big. It's a little bit to confirm no retake. Foolhardy retake is going to come through. Well, they're coming to hunting. A hunting party has been formed and they are hungry. Amos, how many it's can he take down before he gets overwhelmed? There's a lot of Emus. Emus. Okay. Oh, did he think Saracen slightly? Yeah, he done like very little damage, but I think it was towards the head even. Yeah, that scared them away. He should be fine. As you said, Emas, they, they were hungry, but he, he didn't feel too edible. He wanted it instead just... It's distracted though, pulled back, and able to reposition at A before the pressure comes in. He did lose his teammate on Catwalk. That's Dexter out of play. So more pressure onto the armor, but as we've seen so far, he tends to rise to that particular occasion. Acor burning, Acor netting another kill. One after another, he is knocking down all the pins as they come. His fourth, potentially on pace for the ace. It's all down to Tizian now. Tizian will want to recover that bomb. Will want to try and do what damage he can as well to this economy going forward. Don't take a little. To make some of these fights a bit trickier, especially as he gets dinked. Let Acor chase it. Now it's frozen with a nade. Lobs it right into Tizian's face, and that'll finish him off. I think our producer said the leg did hit. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. It's the right amount of damage. Oh, that, that Molly Rider forcing these players forward. He must need to make sure he finds the frags, and well, he will get one and a ton of damage on Tabson, which is then uh, slightly overkilled by the op of Acor. Oh, this flag saver, no idea. The bomb still survives, but now can't plant safe. Can't play with any degree of comfort. So he's gonna go forward to have a fight. He knows he needs one. Can't quite hit the second shot. Now the jumping pogo sticking to make his life uncomfortable, and Rops will be able to finish it off from the ramp. Well, yeah, early short control, but very quickly transition back into mid. The flash blinds up Rops, and he can't escape. It's gonna be frozen now. Who has to hold strong on this B bomb site, and he's managing to make it work. Three kills to his name, he abandons B because he knows with his low health, there's no point sticking around. Instead, keep these advantages for the retake. And well, they have bomb. I didn't even realize it's outside the door. Yeah, they've got bomb. Full control, so he's just going to sit on that. Santares, all alone. He's found the first, but at the cost of half of his health. We're all placed to pay. We will have to see. Careful on the timing on this reload, Santares. And bullets remaining. Go for the peak, but there's an op lock on. He should be dead. And indeed, he is. Acor just waiting for enough of a shoulder to secure the shot, and there it is. They have a lot of nades, though, and Rops is going aggressive. If they can punish this initial peak, then an, an op, exactly. I was going to say, potentially be stolen away, but no. Drops the molly just in time as well. He will be it, but it was heard. The flames had burned away and given plenty of audio warning over towards that player. Why did Rops peak? I'm not too sure He's what the plan man. was there. He's just given a chance to big the fight back into this round, and Xanter has snatched it up. That was a huge blunder. To chase in with an eagle for the third kill. Now there's a bomb planted, and they have to play a retake, and I don't care what kind of numbers you have. This B site retake is never an appetizing prospect. Now they've got two rifles to play with as well. Mm. Two AKs down. Trying to flash over, trying to make this happen. Dex good clear on the initial. Zantares has one, but no health. And they're already in the safe. He doesn't realize it. He's not ready for it. There's no way he's going to survive. So, okay, no harm, no foul. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's no way they expect this. It's so quick into the round. What is this? He's found one. He's found the bomb. Oh, no. Searson has done so much into this round. There's just... Uh, this is going to be very tough to recover. They've got the space in towards mid. Maybe he throws him to recover the bomb. But even if he does, where does he go with it? Searson still being a nuisance back in towards the bomb until they get rid of him. It can't be too much. He must look like one, and there we go. Okay. Searson down for the count. Somehow back to a 2v2. I don't know how they've gotten this back all the way. Oh, but no. now they've actually got the advantage. Okay, so all of Searson's work may be for naught because he's the only player on his team who's been able to net a kill. He completely disrupted their entire standard of play, but now it's going to come down to Zantaras to clutch. And fortunately for him, they're coming the right direction. Be able to catch them while one player's got the bomb in hand. There's the spot. There's the shot. He goes for the jump. Low percentage, but he tries for it. He's going to be able to reposition back towards the ramp, Frozen. Can just bomb down to dirt. Trying for the pogo shot again. This time it's not going to work. It's not Cooley. It's not going to happen here. Frozen. Popping. Bobbing. Diving and weaving. 
But can Zantara's connect to one shot? That's all he needs. Four more bullets. There's a kill oh. coming through right at the tail end just to make it exciting. Mel Sports creeping on with this oh, hero AK. Aid. Oh, that aid. Oh, that aid. Oh, that aid. No, still does quite a bit. Never mind, it's mostly Keto who does quite a bit. That's a big kill. Can Keto get one more? He can. Money made for Keto. 1800 in his pockets. This one a little more destructive. Send me up to Rops. Rops has to go ham here. Has to be the man. And he's gonna get one, but the aim's not great. Dexter brings it down to a 1v1. He's got it! No! Out of bullets! Out of bullets at the worst possible moment! Wilson spotted. Are they just gonna. Oh, Dexter <laughs> has been able to walk out here. And the problem is that op is peering in towards mid. Out, so they might call this clear. There's one. Dexter only gets the one, but that means there's only one guy on site. That kill is huge. Frozen has it. Now a 2v2 with B site control. This bomb's going down. Oh, man. Dexter may have just been the piece that wins in this round. It's certainly going to get from a bomb plant. The off and the right go. Now punched up in the corner. There's the kill for Acor. Op versus Scout. Op comes out on top. Plays old almost exactly like the last round, except this time it's an op on the other side, and that's going to be the round for Mouse Sports. Keto should start a brand of chips. Keto Ritos. What? Are you you okay, Mike? I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it. I don't know why in particular I'm losing it on this map, but we'll see. Let's see if Tizian's about to lose his life. He's got a lot of support here. I think two players. Okay, here's the swing. It's a massacre. Searson hits one. Does he drop? He doesn't even drop all the steel on this man. He wants to peek back in. That was a mistake. Should have dropped. Oh, and the third player is going to go down as well. So it's a banner day for Mouse Sports here. They're going to take the site. They're going to have the site. They're going to have the win. And they've even got Rops just chilling. Chilling in the tunnels. Ready? Finds the one. Finds the two. No, doesn't find the two. Keto will be able to get an upgrade and at least probably maybe save this gun. Feels like every player's got their first one. I'm not sure if it's buying this stuff. But. Keto Ritos, every land. Stop using words that are common in sentences, please. Uh, I think they're the only we're one that Berlin I'm okay with. Berlin International it. Gaming. We're saying the full thing from now on. There we go. Smoke in. Every time. Shot by Keto. We'll okay. maybe find another as they move through and they keep okay, on facing. As does Keto. Eventually punished, so maybe a little bit greedy, but he's given them the advantage now for what will likely be a retake. It has to be at this point. I don't think they can afford to let this one slip, even with the difficulties here in the B bomb site. Yeah, they're already here, right? They're already on point. This bomb's gonna go down. If they're on lurk smokes to get them a path out, Captain's gonna walk through, but it's red by Acor. Now the numbers are even. His teammates aren't with him, and another Molly goes down. Locked out of the window, they have to come through the door. There's no presence in towards tunnels. Tizzy is going to be here. The smoke fades, but it's tracked by Acor. Down to the 1v1, but what's that shot from Zantaras? It's enough. In towards the fight, but he's going to play around the edge of the smoke. This is a creative way to use it. Tizzy is not taking the ground. They want to battle back through. There's the first pin to fall. First John goes down. Second as well. It's all falling apart here. And it's all going to be Keto. He's on a flank, but he's alone. He's first, but no more. No money saved through. No guns saved through. Disaster scenario for. I'll let you confirm that one. Yeah, we talk about 13 what's going over the past here. three months, so it is. Uh, and is, is one of their best maps statistically as well. It's just that it does do. Anything can happen. Here's a gamble stack at the very oh, least. No. Two kills coming in. Speaking of anything that can happen, they've okay. triggered the stack. They've walked into everybody. And now it's a 2v3. Fortunately for them, those three can't find the guns. But up on top of the smoke. Oh, that was a cheeky angle. That was really tricky. Frozen nearly wound up in a world of hurt, but the thing is, they don't have the bomb, so they're just gonna battle this. They're just gonna try and kill Zantaras, and he knows they're coming for him. Jersey. He's still got that bomb, but hopping up, that was a low percentage play, and Acor was ready for it. Bemus, fully aware that a player could be there. So wary of it. But Zantaras is gonna get a kill. This next one is huge. Two? No, not found. Still, it's a 2v3. The path towards the site is wide open, but there's a fast flank coming on from long, so they better move quick if they're going to do it. Bimas is coming back to clear. Is he going to find this kill? He does indeed. That's huge. That's huge. Back to the 2v2 now. Big trying to hang on to this for dear life, but they're going to have to pick and see the plant. They're both coming from Catwalk, so if they plant for Cat, this could get risky. Who's going to hit the first shot? They got time as well. There's going to be the shot for Searson now. Rops knows there's two threats. Tiersen has a kit, though, and he needs to get on towards the site. They're running out of time. They're running out of clock. They need to make the move. Searson crosses. Searson dead. Kit out of hand. This round is lost. Zantares cannot win it on the time. He's going to try and force into the fight, but that won't matter. 
It's map point found, series point found for mouse sports. And Big now have to battle back for four to avoid elimination. And the smokes are going down. Might even look to drop into the spawn. Yeah, I think they're going to go for the B split. Yet, we haven't seen anything like this. This may completely catch them off guard. Mm. Pushing through mid doors at the same time. One player ensuring if any pushes come in through tunnels, they can punish it. And while Dexter decided to even stay in the spawn, that just completely cuts off any sort of rotation. And Keo is left with zero help on the bomb site. He's going to have to go huge. And while Sirison on the off is also successful in finding one, they're still left with a disadvantageous position now to try and recover from. And while Sirison, oh, okay. No. no, never mind. It looked like he had him trapped in on the USP, but it's not going to work out. It's 16 to 12 as it's going to be Mouse Sport to take the victory. And that was with Big again having an incredible start in the Dust 2, even having an 8 4 lead at one point. So they really fell off. They really did. Fantastic showing from Mouse Sports taking it to 2 1.